you're stuttering because you don't feel like you're enough. All right, I'm starting this with a bang. You're stuttering because you don't feel like you're enough. And by stuttering, I don't mean one or two words. Like every once in a while you might stutter. That's not what I mean. I mean getting caught in those environments where you are locked up. Where you feel like you're in a panic state, fight or flight mode. You don't feel like you're enough. That's why you get put into those states and that's why you swap words. And that's why you completely change your personality and who you truly are, what you value and you lack integrity in those moments because you don't feel like you're enough. And what I mean by this and how this makes sense is when you're severely stuttering and severe is different person to person, right? Severe to someone might be severe. Severe to another person might be severe, all right? It depends person to person. It's all on what you think is severe, right? Um, when you are stuttering severely, the reason why is because of tension in the body, right? You are tense, you're holding back, and you are trying to speak with this tension in the body, which causes you to stutter. Why is tension there that's causing this severe stutter? That's the question. It's because you don't feel like you're enough. It's because you feel like the conversation right now is like this. The person you're speaking to is up here. They are more valuable than you. Their time is worth more. Their thoughts are more true or worth more. Their words are worth more or more valuable. You just see them as better for whatever beliefs you have created in your mind. And you see yourself down here. When it's like this, when the dynamic is like this and you're speaking, you're gonna constantly try to prove yourself and please the other person and perfect your speech and pretend like you don't have a stutter, right? It's gonna be like this. When you're doing those four Ps, the four Ps of, stu of stuttering, you are not yourself. You are a, pers a persona you have created in order to deflect the most amount of judgment, you think. To deflect the most amount of rejection, you think. To deflect the most amount of disapproval. You create that persona because you don't feel like your authentic self right now is enough you don't feel like this version of you right now is enough because of the dynamic like this so this persona you create is a manifestation of not feeling of not feeling like you're enough and you're always in these stuttering states when you're trying to prove yourself when you're trying to please others when you feel like you have to be perfect and when you're and when you're pretending Maybe one of these four Ps or maybe all of these four Ps you're acting on when you're stuttering a lot. So overcoming your stutter is about realizing you don't need to prove yourself. Realizing you don't need to prove, pretend, perfect, or please. And when you realize this, you realize you're enough. And the dynamic goes like this. And when you truly realize that the authentic you, that your authentic thoughts, you do not need a filter. You, don't, you do not need to anticipate. You do not need to um, try to an anticipate how they're going to react, how they're going to respond to what you say, how they might respond to your stutter. You don't need to do any of that because you feel like you're enough internally no matter what happens over here, no matter what they do, no matter how they react no matter how they respond. When you feel like you're enough, you don't need to change your personality and turn into a different version of yourself to try to please them. And you will not be put into the stuttering state. Okay, period, capiche.
Overcoming your stutter is about living in this process of becoming the most authentic version of yourself where you always feel like you're enough. So it's really about learning to not care so much about what other people think of you. Because the reason why you don't feel like you're enough is because of this. Because you're putting way too much value into the opinions of others. This is how I've overcome my stutter. By addressing this. By addressing the value I'm placing in other people's judgments. By taking action. Not just meditating every day and hoping things will change. But by going and facing my fears and facing my anxieties. And this is how I've helped over 55 people in the past two years also overcome their fears and anxieties, aka overcome their stutter so they feel like they're enough and it's no longer like this. So I'm making this quick video to you right now for you to feel, for you to tune into how you feel right now for me explaining this. And if this makes sense to you and you're saying, you know what, Chase? I don't feel like I'm enough in, in, in social interactions. And that does make sense. I do try to prove and please and perfect and pretend that that's fucking me. And you truly want to overcome your stutter. You no longer want to look every night on YouTube videos about to drop the phone on your face. You no longer want to sit in, so, in social situations and just cringe and overthink and overthink and anticipate your words and swap words. If you want to stop this mental gymnastics so you can express yourself freely, then stop fucking around. Most likely this isn't the first video of mine that you've watched. Stop fucking around. What are you waiting for? This is a real talk, man to man, man to woman. And this is the way if we were to work together, I would talk to you. Because I love you. And I truly want the best for you. And I know that you continuing to watch YouTube videos and trying to get bits of that, bits of that, bits of that, without a structured plan and, a, and accountability, isn't going to do shit. I don't want you to waste one more day in this mental prison. Okay. So if you are serious about overcoming your stutter and this makes sense to you, this makes sense. This approach makes sense. Then look at the closest link down below in the description and you can book a free one-on-one -on -one call with me. Well, I will look at your situation see what your goals are, see what you're struggling with, and see if I would be able to help you. I may say, no, sorry, like now is not the right time to work together. Or I might say, yeah, let's create a plan and see if this would be a good fit. There is no harm, all right? Stop fucking around. I love you. You internally know what you should do. If this makes sense to you, you know, fuck, I should do this. I should, I should work on this. So stop listening to the fear of now is not the right time. It will never be the right time. You said it's not the right time for two years. All right. It will never be the right time. If you are sick of hiding yourself, it's the right time. Period. I love you. Book that call because I love you and I would love to speak with you because I know you are my family. If you stutter, and you're on the same wavelength as me, you are my family, period. All right, I'll see you on the call.